Hello and welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel. Summer is here and it's getting hot out. And for me, there's nothing better to cool down with this time of year than a highball. What's a highball, you ask? Well, at its most basic level, it is a combination of a spirit and a mixer. Think a rum and coke, a vodka soda, or even an Aperol spritz. By playing with that formula and working in other modifier ingredients, the possibilities are endless. And just like art class, there are no wrong answers here. There are highballs out there for any type of spirit you may have in your liquor cabinet or fridge. Here at Through the Mixing Glass, we're gonna be celebrating the highball all summer long. Apologies in advance to Megan the Stallion because hot girl summer is over. Get ready for highball summer. To kick things off, we're making an Amber Road from Food & Wine Magazine. Let's start with a quarter of an ounce of maple syrup. Put away the Mrs. Butterworths, you're going to want the real thing here. Next is half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. If you don't have lemons in your fridge, you can use the bottled stuff, but it's a definite downgrade. We're following that up with a full ounce of Aperol. This is a bittersweet Italian aperitif. Think of it as Campari's more easygoing cousin. It's gonna add some nice citrusy notes to our drink in a beautiful red color. And lastly, we're adding an ounce and a half of bourbon or rye whiskey. Use what you have on hand. For me, that's a quarantine sized bottle of Wild Turkey 101. All right, that's it for now. Let's add ice to our shaker and give this a vigorous shake. With our drink nice and cold, we're gonna pour it into a tall, skinny glass. I got this one at Victory Brewing, and it's not strictly a highball glass. I think it's actually a, a Pilsner glass or something, but it'll do the trick here. And besides, it's the drink that counts anyway, right? Now that our drink is in the glass, I'm gonna take a large ice cube and break it apart using a big, heavy soup spoon. I love when a drink is served over crushed ice. We're not gonna go that far, but this will at least get us part of the way there. And it's not messy at all, either. And finally, let's top this up with some club soda or seltzer. I'm using Topo Chico mineral water, but any type of sparkling water will work fine. All right, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot. It's bright, it's refreshing. The citrus flavors from the lemon juice and the Aperol really pop here, but the maple syrup keeps everything nicely balanced. Beneath it all are the rich, spicy notes from the bourbon, and the bubbly effervescence from the club soda really adds a fun twist to this. All right, that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for checking us out. If you aren't already, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next episode in a few weeks as we continue Highball Summer. Cheers.